not do, Claire. Some of us have to go to work on Christmas Eve. Mm, must be hell. But you were up jolly late last night, too. I wanted to finish the tree. At least, thank goodness, the lights worked first time this year. Usually, I spend all of Christmas screwing and unscrewing bulbs. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Looks like something out of Prince Charming's ball. Oh. As worn by one of the ugly sisters. <laughs> thank you, Claire. Have you had any more thoughts about what you want as a present? Uh, no, no, I haven't really. I'd like a surprise. Mummy, that's the most unhelpful answer in the world. What sort of surprise? Well, I can't say what sort of surprise, can I? It wouldn't be a surprise, would it? No. Anyway, I really don't mind. After all, it's the thought that counts. Well, suppose I thought of not giving you anything. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be a very generous thought. No, but it'd be a surprise. <laughs> oh, dear. I can see I'm going to end up like every other Christmas, too exhausted to enjoy any of it. Oh, not that much to enjoy anyway. Fair. Oh, come on, Mummy. You know and I know that since Daddy died with just you, me and Granny, well, Christmas has been about as much fun as us all having our wisdom teeth out at the same time. Well, it's not. I know it's the book. No. Henry's photograph. Is it all right? Yes, yes, just the frame broken. It's fine. It'll be all right, honestly, love. Nothing is going to go wrong this Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I just don't like Christmas. Russell, you have made that abundantly clear. Best Christmas I ever had was when I caught pneumonia. I was unconscious for 48 hours. Bliss. <laughs> All right, but not everyone thinks the same as you do on the subject. Well, there's a lot more do than dare admit it. Well, I'm sure for neat, nice little couples with 2.4 small children, it may retain some charm. But for most people, Christmas means 10 days of being cooped up with relatives they can't stand, overeating, overdrinking, and flicking desperately through the radio and TV times, hoping against hope there's something on worth watching. <laughs> yes, but... Oh, come on, Sarah. As a widow, you don't fit into the traditional family Christmas setup any more than I do. No, but I still enjoy a lot of it, you know, the cooking and the decorations and choosing presents and wrapping them up in funny shapes. What? Oh, family tradition. We always disguise what our presents are for each other by wrapping them up to look like something else. Oh. <laughs> I remember one year, Henry made this huge cardboard structure in the garage, all covered in wrapping paper. It was exactly the shape of a mini. Oh. <laughs> and what was inside it? A pair of tights. <laughs> I see. Weren't you mildly disappointed? No! I knew it wasn't going to be a car. That was the whole joke. Oh. Well, anyway, I enjoy all that, and I am determined to enjoy Christmas this year, in spite of all the Scrooges I seem to meet at every turn. Huh. You shouldn't say ha, you should say ba, closely followed by humbug. Very well, ba, humbug. <laughs> and you're really going to ignore Christmas completely? Yep. Can't be done. You can. I shall spend the whole time here decorating. And what about Bob? Bob is on a duty call to his parents, so I haven't got anything else to do. Did you say you were going out shopping? Oh, yes, I've got to get Mother's present and collect the turkey and... Could you pick up some paint for me, please? I rang through and ordered it at Tilling's. Yes, of course. What's this? <laughs> ah, well, it's only a little one. Never been much of an excuse, that, Sarah. <laughs> My daughter, you know, the one who's married, married to a merchant banker. Yes. <laughs> well, as they're Christmasing in the West Indies, and Christmas at the Sycamores is so very quiet, I decided this year I'd go to a hotel. An hotel? How nice. Yes, the Ronin Manor Hotel. I don't know whether you're familiar with it. I don't believe I am. No, well, they don't advertise. Guests tend to go by recommendation. Oh. They have a very varied programme of entertainment and what have you. Oh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the what have you, Vienna. <laughs> Organised games, live music, late night discos. Just up your street, Vera, dear. <laughs> I just feel that Christmas will be much more fun somewhere lively. With a mix of age ranges, lots of younger people, fresh people to talk to. Oh. <laughs> of course, it'll cost the earth, but then you can't take it with you. 
I'm sure if you don't manage to take it with you, Vera, then nobody can. <laughs> Well, anyhow, I'm sure it will all be great fun. And you're just going to have a quiet Christmas here, are you, Eleanor, dear? Sitting with your book of crossword puzzles? Yes, I will be here, Vera, but I'm not so sure about the quiet Christmas. I don't think it'll be much time for crossword puzzles. No, Sarah, Claire and I always have a very lively time at Christmas. Traditional, but very lively. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Games, laughter... Lots of stimulating conversation. Oh, I must say I'm very taken with your charming little tree. Thank you. So much more convenient, the plastic ones, don't you think? Well, you see, they don't shed. I mean, Sarah was still finding needles in her sitting room carpet in October. But... Uh, and after all, who wants a hoover full of needles? I don't want a hoover full of needles. Do you want a hoover full of needles, dear? <laughs> no, of course not, well, dear. there but... you are, then. <coughs> dear, dear, what's the time? I'm afraid my watch has got a bit temperamental in its old age. What a coincidence. <laughs> what did you say? Half past two. <laughs> I mustn't miss the festival of nine lessons and carols. I always listen to that while I'm icing my Christmas cake. Another of your traditions? Of course. And I always put the little Christmas tree and Santa on his little sleigh in exactly the same position on the cake. It's not for me, of course, but Sarah and Claire do so love their slice of Christmas cake. Ah. Of course, at the Raleigh Manor Hotel, the Christmas cake is made from an, an exclusive 18th century French recipe. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> and what do you think they put in the crackers at the Raleigh Manor Hotel? I don't know. Life peerages? <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. You should see the crowds in the shops. Not all the shops. <laughs> no. Did you get everything? Just about. There's your paint. Thanks. And you got a present for Eleanor? Yes. Digital watch. Her old one's been going funny for months. This one does virtually everything. Stopwatch, alarm, tells you the time in Hong Kong. Probably if you press the right buttons, it'll do your coffee and two sugars. <laughs> Place happy birthday on your birthday. Oh, and listen. On December the 25th, this is what it plays every hour on the hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Russell. No, I'm the one who owes you an apology, Sarah. Christmas does just get up my nose so much, and I'm always scratchy when Bob's away, and... Uh, well, I think I may have been behaving rather badly the last few days. Well, it's a point of view. So, anyway, to make some small amends, I am going to close the shop now. So you're actually closing early because it... It has nothing to do with the date, Sarah. I'm closing early because we have no customers. Ah, I understand. Of course, if we shut up the shop early every time we didn't have any customers... Don't we... say it, Sarah. <laughs> Heresy. Right. Look, I've just remembered some shopping I've got to get, so if you want to go home... Oh, thank you. Uh, just a couple of things I want to tidy up here first. Fine. Lock up with your key when you go? Yes, of course. Oh, Russell, happy... Happy what? <laughs> happy decorating, Russell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Turkey, sprouts, potatoes, chestnut stuffing, ordinary stuffing, bacon, oh, hello, mother. Mince pies, brand of butter. I just came up to say good night, Sarah. Good night, Mother. Christmas pudding, brandies like the Christmas pudding, methylated spirits in case the brandy doesn't work. Still too nuts. I've hardly seen you today, dear. No, well, I have had one or two things to do, Mother. Oh, well, if you will insist on leaving everything to the last moment. Have you managed to do your tree yet, dear? Yes, last night. Come and have a look at it. Yes, very nice. You don't like it? No, no, it's just... Well, decorations are so personal, aren't they? I just like a bit more colour on a tree. And, of course, the lights on mine flash on and off, you know. Yes, I know. I prefer mine not to. Well, it's a matter of taste. Yes. At least I managed to get them working again. Had to check every single bulb again this evening, as usual. 
There is an immutable law of fairy lights, you know, that whichever one you start with, the faulty bulb will always be the one you come to last. <laughs> it's shedding needles already, I see. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. You'll be kept busy hoovering for the next few months, you know, Sarah. <laughs> that is a risk I'm prepared to take, Mother, for the pleasure of having a real tree in the house. Well, if you want to live in a botanical gardens. <laughs> oh. Handkerchiefs again for me from Vera Poling, I see. <laughs> Honestly, with all the money she's got, you think... It's the thought that counts, Mother. Yes, well, I just wish Vera's thoughts occasionally ran to something a bit more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything for me from you. Nope, there will be, though. Just haven't got around to wrapping it up yet. Mm, well, I won't say any more about leaving things till the last moment. No, I wouldn't, Mother, if I were you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I see your lights do go on and off after all. <laughs> they seem to stay off rather a long time. <laughs> nope. Nope. Just get this one of Granny's finished and then I really can go to bed. <laughs> What's the time, love? Nearly midnight. <clears throat> nope. Nearly time to say Happy Christmas. Nearly. Nope. It won't be nearly as bad as you imagine when it actually happens, love, honestly. Mm. Well, that's what they said to French aristocrats the night before they were guillotined. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Eureka! Oh, well done. There. I don't think there's any chance of Granny guessing what's in that, do you, Claire? <laughs> oh, no, Mummy. No chance. <laughs> It's two minutes, 47 seconds, and nine hundredths of a second since anyone said anything. <laughs> oh, well, fancy that. Nearly time for a nice slice of my Christmas cake. Oh, oh, Mother, I don't think I could ever eat another thing. But it's my usual Christmas cake with the little Christmas tree and Santa on his little sleigh. We have to have a slice of that. It's traditional. Oh. We don't need television on Christmas Day, Claire. What? I was just saying I don't approve of watching television on Christmas Day. But you've just watched the Queen. Oh, that's different. <laughs> I watched her because she's the Queen. The fact that she was on television is purely incidental. <laughs> Do you know, she made her Christmas message last exactly nine minutes and 45 seconds. She's a marvellous woman. <laughs> yes. And she said, more or less exactly what I'd have said if I'd been giving the broadcast. <laughs> you mean you've actually thought what you'd say if you were queen? Of course. And clearly Her Majesty and I think along very similar lines about most things. <laughs> I'm sure she'd be very relieved to hear that, Mother. Mind you, I think I might have made some reference to personal stereos. What on uh, earth uh, <laughs> personal stereos got to do with the Queen's Christmas message? Well, they're a public menace, the noise they make. I mean, you sit next to one on a bus and all you can hear is shikaboom, shikaboom, shikaboom. <laughs> it's infuriating. Yes, And but... all I'm saying is that Her Majesty the Queen is uniquely placed to say something about that kind of menace. A few well-chosen words from the throne about personal stereos and people would stop using them. Or be sent to the tower. Oh. Sarah, I was trying to be serious. You do trivialise everything so. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. Well, there's nothing worth watching on anyway. Claire, as I said, we don't need television on Christmas Day. No. No. Christmas Day is the perfect opportunity for the family to get together and have some stimulating conversation. <laughs> well, so much for the stimulating conversation, huh? <laughs> Special seasonal edition of the 
quiz and going to ask you, Annika, what you'd like Santa to put in your stocking. <laughs> How many hundredths of a second there are between Granny's snores, Mummy? <laughs> Do you think we should wake her? No, no. The minute we wake her, she'll wheel out the dreaded Christmas cake. With a little Christmas tree and Santa on his little sleigh. <laughs> You're right, love. Yeah. Not too bad a Christmas, is it? No. Well, it's like an ordinary Sunday, really. Mm. I'm sorry Granny and I clashed on your present, Mummy. Doesn't matter. Because you were both thinking along the right lines, something I really needed. Mm, something you needed so much, you went out and bought one for yourself yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you going to put Daddy's picture in? I haven't decided yet. Alternate them, I expect. I know Christmas is difficult. You know, with Daddy not being here. And... Yes, but... Saved by the bell. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Vera. Happy Christmas to you, too. Yes, yes, she is. Oh, you know, quiet and yours. Granny. <laughs> Granny. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Vera's holding on the phone. Oh, really? She's just coming. Right. Don't worry, Claire. We'll finish the game in a moment. <laughs> Dear. Oh, and a happy Christmas to you, too. I just snatched a moment from this hectic social round to wish you the compliments of the season. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Vera. My goodness, things are a riot here. So many people, so much food, so much entertainment. My feet have hardly touched the ground. No, not of mine. You've just interrupted a hilarious game of charades here, Vera. <laughs> We've just been playing Postman's Knock. <laughs> oh, we'll be getting round to that later. Next on our list is Grandmother's Footsteps. <laughs> I don't think I've ever laughed so much in my life. Well, I can't stay a moment because everyone here is about to start a conga. Oh, yes, I expect we'll be doing our bit with the hokey-cokey before the day is out. <laughs> I just wanted to wish you a happy Christmas. Thank you so much. See you next week, Vera, dear. Goodbye. <laughs> well, if there's one thing you have to do in any dealings with Vera Poling, it's to make sure you keep your head up. <laughs> What's the best way to serve turkey? Oh, no. <laughs> What's the turkey? 
time. Nearly six. So, what have we in store for us this evening? <laughs> Is Granny going to continue to lead us in stimulating conversation? <laughs> or is she going to get going on the hokey cokey? No, this evening we will play cards and watch a bit of television. It's remarkable how at the end of Christmas Day, things you've known for a week you really don't want to see suddenly become quite watchable. Mm, after a few drinks, yes. <laughs> and then we'll... Have an early night. That's it. Classic quiet Christmas. Hmm. I wonder if anybody ever has a noisy Christmas. What? Well, the people we meet next week will say, how was your Christmas? And they'll say, fine, you know, quiet. Perhaps one year we should try to have a really noisy Christmas. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this one's been quite noisy in some ways. Six o'clock. Now, who'd like a nice slice of my Christmas cake? <laughs> Saved by the bell again. Who on earth could that be? Hello? Sarah, what's the best way to serve turkey? Join the Turkish army. Ah, <laughs> oh, you knew it. You know why I've rung you? Something I want to say. Humbug? No, Sarah. Bar? No, just thank you. Oh, that's all right. The actual paint, you know, is decanted into a plastic tub in the stockroom. Thanks. How's your Christmas going? Oh, fine, you know, quiet. <laughs> but you're enjoying it? Yes, yes, I am. You were right, Sarah. What? Well, you can't pretend Christmas doesn't exist. No, I'm afraid it's like death and taxes and Terry Wogan. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, I realised that yesterday. I actually went out and bought you a present, but you had gone by the time I got back. Oh, well, thank you. I'll look forward to opening it on Wednesday. Yeah. Hmm. Bye, Sarah. Bye. Oh, oh, Sarah. What? Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Russell. <laughs>